Good morning, guys. We got a baby in the back here. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy, what day is it today? Tuesday, it is a beautiful, beautiful day today. Yeah, we um, are going to pay for one or two ice creams on the ice cream truck for you and me. We are, yeah. aren't we? We're going to go to the beach today. So I yeah. wanted to go for a nice walk and I thought what better place to go than the beach. Um, the boys have somewhat cooperated this morning. So we're going to go and have a morning at the beach. Sound that fun, Sam? Yeah? What are you most looking forward to? Playing in the water or getting an ice cream? Um, both. Both? Okay, let's go. the border there there they are all the tiny little fish <gasps> yeah wow so let's eat them you hope the sharks don't eat them when we can't read the sky just sell with the wind that we've got and when we're drowning in doubt just keep on believing we are dreamers of the Thursday. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I picked up the camera. Um, so Tuesday we had a lot of fun. Well, most of us did. Jakey didn't enjoy it very much. I didn't really film Jakey crying. I don't like to film my kids crying. Um, but he really didn't enjoy the beach that much at all. If you see my Instagram post, there is one post up that I think I've posted already of him losing his marbles. I tried to take a cute photo and it just it didn't happen for us um so yeah that was fun we came home and all of us pretty much just crashed i think the sun and the salty air and just being out and about um really just took it out of us so i didn't really pick up the camera when we got home yesterday we stayed at home for the entire day or oh, sam went to kindy yesterday that's what happened um, Sam went to kindy. I stayed at home trying to organize a bunch of projects. I've been working on organizing the concreting for the backyard. So um, just organizing all the quotes, making sure that all of our little ducks are in a row. And I think I have it sorted out for the most part. Matt and I have picked a concreting company that we're going to use. And I think by the end of this week, probably tomorrow, I might pay the deposit. We're just working out the dates and everything, but we're gonna have concrete in our backyard very very soon and i am so excited i just the dirt you guys the dirt is killing me we've been in our house now for a year and a week a year and a week and a half um 
and we still don't have grass in our backyard. So just the whole COVID thing and being pregnant and having Jakey, life just got in the way of us this year, but we are so excited to have a backyard for the boys for Christmas. Um, that is probably our biggest goal. I've almost finished Christmas shopping for Sam. I've got him some Lego and some cars and things and a couple of books, but I did want to get him some outdoor toys because I was hoping that, you know, summer and spring this year, he would spend the most part of his days outside out of my hair not messing up my house um so i'm waiting on grass before i buy any more toys for him for christmas and things like that because i wanted to get outdoor stuff so hopefully we will have grass in the next six or so weeks hopefully we'll have concrete in the next four weeks um yeah it's exciting i'll show you guys our backyard when i get home because um you guys probably don't remember what it looks like or how bad it actually is. Uh, just bear in mind there are toys everywhere and Sam loves to dig in the dirt. I do feel bad because we're going to be taking away his dirt. We might have to put a sand pit in somewhere, but oh my gosh, I am so excited to not have clay and sand through my house. Um, so that's what we're doing. Today I am here at Bunnings. I'm starting the day off at Bunnings. I've already been to the chemist um, to get some of this for the little man. He and his ailments, you guys. I don't think I've ever had a child. Well, I've never had a child that's had this many ailments. Sam was such an easy baby. It's definitely um, true what they say. The second one will test you. This poor little kid has not had an easy run of it. So I got some of this today. Let me know if you've used it and what your experience was. Uh, I've checked out the reviews and a lot of people really recommended this and a bunch of you guys on Instagram recommended it too. So I'm going to give it a go. He's just super snuffly, especially when I'm feeding him um, and at night time. So hopefully this will help. And I'm going to jump in to Bunnings and get a little saw because I'm working on making a blackboard. I don't know if it's going to work or not. You guys are going to find out with me. But I'm trying to do something for the inside of our house for decor. And I was trying to save some money on it. And I think it's probably going to end up costing as much as what it would have cost if I just bought one already done. But it's a project, you guys. And I love me a good project. I do have my makeup done today because I am going to film. I have three videos that I know that I'm filming today. Um, if I can get some more filmed, then that would be great. But I'm going to be filming Jakey's two month update because I haven't done an update for you guys yet and there's a lot to update you guys on um, and also I want to have it filmed for myself as well I'm going to be filming uh, my birth story because there's a lot that you guys didn't get to see with that and there was another video oh my postpartum update video um, and that is one that I'm going to film last because I'm probably going to cry a lot in I've been struggling a lot but I will talk to you guys about that in that video but I'm going to stop rambling we're going to go in there's a dog barking next to me let's go get this saw okay, I'm at home I have Jakey outside with me um, doing this project because it is so nice this is a blackboard I've pretty much almost painted it I've got to do one more coat I just need to trim it down to size um, and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with it once I've finished it because I don't know if it's gonna work yet this is the yard so this is what I was saying that we are going to be doing in the next couple of weeks um, we have lived with this dirt for so long it's clay and the clay gets stuck in your shoes and then it gets you know in the house and it stains everything and sand so it's atrocious we can't stand it i'm so excited essentially what we're going to do is put a two meter path across the back end of the house um and then obviously concrete all the driveway and the paths either side of the house and then put grass in our backyard so that's what we're doing that's what i've been working on i am so excited to not see brown anymore um, so hopefully in the next couple of weeks that'll all be done but I'm gonna get started on this right now hopefully I can get it done before he wakes up for a feed and then I need to film so easier said than done this actually really hurts your hands
Okay, okay no. that is done. The edges are pretty rough, so I'm just gonna sand them off now. And I've bought the frame out. It fits perfectly. I'm gonna give it one more coat of paint and then I can show you what I'm gonna do next with it. the mess in the background I'm about to go clean that up but I am finished with my DIY this is what I was making it is a little blackboard that you hang a wreath on I saw it on Pinterest and I thought it'd be really cute the frame is the same frames that I used for the birth posters over there um, I haven't shown you guys them hung yet either so I'll do that in just a second but they're just a Kmart poster frame I just got a piece of MDF and cut it to size so it was thicker and I made some mistakes. I accidentally screwed. I've got brackets in there holding the frame to the board so it all kind of stays together. The frames are not very good quality. So if you're looking for quality frames, do not go to Kmart. I, I don't know why people love Kmart so much. Like it is great and all, but the stuff is pretty cheap. There's a reason why it's so cheap. It's not very good quality. Um, anyway, I painted this with some chalkboard paint. I just got it from um, office works I'm not really sure on the quality of the paint either I might need to get some better quality paint at some point but my plan is to buy some stencils and change out the wreaths for the seasons so you can get stencils and you can get chalk paint and you can you know do different things so for Thanksgiving you could do gather and um, for Christmas you could have like Merry Christmas and but you get my gist I am gonna try and do something for Halloween here pretty soon I did just try and write on it I am terrible at writing so I definitely need the stencils but like I said, I'm super proud of how it came out because I made it myself and yeah. S, that is a great S, P. Okay, P. R. Okay, it's like a P. First you go like that and that. That's right, I. I. N. And Drew will fix the O. That's right. And then an N. N. And then a G. And a G. Good job. Yeah. Oh, good job. Oh, look, he's looking at you. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. What's your favourite thing about having a little brother, Sam? I'm doing push-ups. Doing push-ups? You like it when he does his push-ups? Can you show him how to do push-ups? Okay. You show him. <laughs> what? So good. Look. <laughs> That's what a real push-up looks like. Have you been learning from Dad? Tasty. Oh, oh, you're trying to get this one. Is this the one you want? Oh, that's all you want to do. Oh, you want to guys happy Friday it is a grocery Friday, shopping everyone. day um, we're starting the day off at Costco I'm gonna try and tackle this with two kids normally I would try and do this with just Jakey and I would rush it but uh, apparently there's a pupil free day today third day back at school and already pupil free day You 
you guys, Halloween is a couple of weeks away and I said that we would do cops and robbers, <laughs> so. For bad guys, look. Yeah, you got handcuffs. So he's gonna wear a police costume. I am literally gonna wear black leggings. I'm gonna wear some black trainers and a black top and maybe like a black beanie. And I've just gotta to go to Best and Less today and get um, this little guy a black costume, but we're gonna be cops and robbers this year. <gasps> can I Can I attach the other one to the pram so you don't run away from me? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Oh, am I going to lock you in? Yeah. There you go. Your traps now. Oh, this is what we've needed all along. Is anyone else ready to celebrate Christmas? Ooh. I am so ready for the holiday season. It has been such a crappy year. today it is 10 o'clock at night I'm just finishing up the vlog now and wanted to put an outro in for you I have had a raging toothache all day I don't know if you can tell by my face I'm a bit red um it is so painful I do have an appointment tomorrow at a dentist that's local to me not where I worked before um just somewhere that's local so hopefully they're good hopefully um at 11 o'clock tomorrow and Mm, it is painful so hopefully they can sort it out I have a feeling I know what's wrong and I hope that I'm wrong with it it's either going to be wisdom tooth pain which I think the wisdom tooth could be causing the pain but I'm pretty sure it's the tooth in front of it that's causing the pain and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need root canal which is not ideal it's not going to hurt I know that it doesn't hurt it's going to be fine for those of you who get scared going to the dentist don't it's not a big deal um, it's just like having a filling done really but it's more the expense of it that I'm not prepared for. I did, however, stop past Best and Less to pick up a click and collect order today. I'm so excited about this. I just wanted to share it with you real quick. Um, a few weeks ago, I ordered the boys some Halloween pajamas that were supposed to only take a couple of days to get here, but took just over two weeks. So bear that in mind if you are going to go and try and find them for yourself too. I could not find them in store today. So I'm glad that I did order them online. But they are little pajamas with little skeletons on them. I just figured these were something that the boys could wear, um, I guess, year round. It's not too Halloween-y, but they are super cute and they're matching. You guys, this is probably the best thing ever about being a mum to two boys is that I can dress them in matching clothes and it makes me so happy. Um, but they're just so cute. I'm so excited. I can't wait to put them on them. It's going to be a bit cold for them for the weekend. Um, but it is going to warm up next week and to be honest, my kids wear pyjamas all day. We all do, to be honest. Um, so they will probably just wear these as shorts and t-shirt sets, not necessarily pyjamas. But I did want to share that with you in case you are looking for something for your kids to wear this Halloween. Um, I did end up getting Sam that police costume today. So he has been wearing it literally all day. He arrested Matt when Matt got home from work tonight. It was so funny. If I wasn't in so much pain, I would have pulled out the camera. But I am going to leave the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It feels like it's been forever since I've uploaded a fun vlog like this. I am going to try and vlog over the weekend. I spent a good portion of this afternoon as well sorting out our concreting for the backyard. It is happening, you guys, in three weeks' time. We have three weeks to be ready, which is exciting and nerve-wracking and scary. And it's a lot of work for Matt. So hopefully we can get all that done. And yeah, we're going to have grass for Christmas. I'm just so excited. It has been a pretty good weekend all around apart from this. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. And I will see you guys in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.